Hey guys, couldn't really sleep last night. The storm woke me up a couple of times. As you can see, I still look pretty tired. But it made me think about last year and I wanted to do a video about the fragrance that irritates me the most whenever I smell it. It is a very common fragrance. It's something you can smell on every single guy in the street here in Europe. I don't know if it's the same in, in America, but over here it's extremely popular. I'm going to take out the Fragrantica on my phone here with me and read you the description. This is a new fragrance for men, which represents fresh and sporty creation in relation to the other perfumes of the house. The fragrance comes out in July 2013. I won't say the name, but I say it's Latin for invincible, represents power and dynamism and energy. Fragrance opens with a fresh grapefruit and the marine accord that leads to the heart of aromatic bay leaf and hedione jasmine and the woody base of gayak wood, patchouli, oak moss and ambergris. <sighs> Bottle design is in the form of a trophy. Fragrance is available as 50 and 100 ml eau de toilette with an accompanying collection blah 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 was created by Veronique Nieberg, Anne Flippo, Olivier Polge and Dominique Ropion and those last two names I'm really shocked they are even part of this composition because they have done so much better in their line of work and it's kind of disappointing that they did this project because Long story short, this smells like an air freshener to me and I don't know what made me change my mind because I did get a bottle when it came out. This is it, Invictus. As you can see I've used quite a bit of juice but mostly in the beginning when it wasn't still hyped up and not too many people knew about it. It smells, I do smell the marine accord, I do smell something fresh, of course what they mean in similarity or in comparison to the other fragrances of the house, that's not difficult, you know, comparing this to One Million or uh, Black Excess, those are highly sweet, synthetic and extremely candy-like almost on the verge of being feminine this one is fresher indeed it is more suited for hot hotter weather uh, for summer for those types of uh, season but i don't know it's still very sweet and what's bugging me the most with this fragrance is that when you let me try to explain this when you have a quality fragrance and you overspray it can be a little overbearing you it can make you sneeze it can give you a headache um, well this one you don't have to overspray to piss anyone off and the problem is whenever I smell this it's like the person took a shower in this I don't know how many sprays they use Maybe maybe that's the point of Paco Rabanne. They did the same with in, uh, with uh, One Million. They made it extremely powerful. Um, only one to two sprays is more than enough to get you noticed. It's not other with Invictus, although being a fresher fragrance. And um, that's my main problem. Whenever somebody comes near me wearing Invictus, I can't smell myself anymore. It's like I'm eating his fragrance. And um, as a fragrance fanatic, this is something that's frustrating me more and more. You know, people that um, are so overpowering with their smell that 
there's like nothing else in the room anymore and um well i wouldn't say that this is extremely bad it is it will be suited for the typical um if you like let me explain if you're just looking for a fragrance to smell decent after a shower you don't want to spend a lot of money although this is not true you can find other stuff that's pretty cheap it smells a lot better but if you don't know anything about it without uh, about fragrances this could be a good start off uh, fragrance but entre nous like they say in, Fr in French this is something nobody will be looking for in the next couple of years and I hope this hype blows over and people start wearing something else for a change now there it is guys this is going to be a short video it was just an idea I, I got last night this is my my most hated scent for 2014 it's been on the market since 2013 but it's been hyped up like crazy with the TV commercials lately the guy with the trophy and the five women around him feeling really tough no excuse me you will not you will not get five women wearing this maybe if they're 15 years old and they don't know what the hell is up with the with the fragrance game this is not something to be proud of wearing this will not get you too many compliments i'm sorry this is to me it's garbage thank you for watching have a great day